This video is brought to you by Big 3, hips, hamstrings, and back. Learn to relieve pain in the three tightest areas of your body. www.yogatraveler.online slash big3. Hello, and welcome to Just Do This. If you only have a few minutes every day, you don't have a long time to devote to a full yoga practice, you all need not be lost. Just try doing this simple sequence to stretch out the hips and the low back, and, and then move on with your day feeling like you have done something great for your body. So today we're gonna do windshield wiper hips and a hip stretch. So we'll be laying on the floor, you don't have to have a yoga mat to do this, but if you have one, great. Just roll it out. It feels good to be on your mat. So you want to take your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. I don't have mine quite to the edges of my mat. Almost though, almost. And then take your arms out to a T and you're just going to windshield wiper your legs. So my knee doesn't quite all the way drop to the ground, but I can feel this really nice pull through the psoas. That is part of our hips and the quadricep. And then we're just going to go back and forth. You can go as slow as you want. We wouldn't go terribly fast. We're not trying to jar our body, but we do want the movement in the hips, in the quadriceps. There's two kinds of motions that we use with yoga. One is to hold hold and breathe and stretch things out, or sometimes that's for strengthening. And then the other is to move. And that's really great for joints. In this case, our hip sockets, trying to ease um, tension through the hips and just generally relax the body. So we're just gonna move. I don't know how many times, I'm not counting or anything. I'm just feeling that looseness and that freedom into the hips. So this is the movement portion. Next we'll get into the holds. So let's drop our legs over to the right side. Now you're going to take your right foot and place it on your left knee and then gently guide this right knee down. And that this is our hold. This is our hold. So it's definitely going to get this quadricep definitely going to get the psoas, so quadricep, psoas, plus there's this lift in our low back area, that's the sacrum. With our knees kind of apart, it spreads that space, can ease pressure in the sacrum, which can mean that the low back gets a little bit loosened. So in this position, we're just holding and breathing. It might feel good to you, it might feel a little intense, sometimes stretching does doesn't mean that we're doing something wrong, but if you can't breathe through it, then it's too much and you need to move things around. Good, let's just take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind yourself, bring yourself back. Let's just do a couple rounds of, of um, our our windshield wipers. <laughs> Couldn't think of what I was calling these. Just to feel that looseness again, and then let the legs fall to the left. Lift your left foot, place it on the right knee, and draw that left knee to the ground. So now you can really see this lift and this twisting in through the back. Again, so as quadricep, I'm obviously at a different angle but you can see some of the other benefits through the low back, the hip area that is connected to the back. That's the sacrum. Stretch it out. Feeling good. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. 
Come back to the middle, just do a couple more. Ooh, move it around. Then extend, stretch out through your body. And roll yourself over to one side so that you can sit up. And now you've done it. You just did one great thing for your body. You can move on with your day. Enjoy how your hips feel, your quadriceps, hip flexors, and low back feel throughout your day today. Thanks for joining.